So if you're telling me that I'm making this dumb video that's based off a demon that may or may not be based off of someone who was taught in this room before. Yeah, that about sums it up. Warning. Ball explosion. 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 Warning. 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 Who is this demon? Well, the demon we're discussing today is Miss Miss Hayes. Hayes, yeah. She is an ugly, cold, green demon sporting black hair in the shape of a spider on top of her head that is totally not filled or made of spiders. She wears a cowboy belt that is attached to a lasso that strangling five angelic kids onto one on the, that same lasso, which is attached to her non-existing waist that connects to her no leg and ten arms that- uh, She also has a melted face, yeah. I don't know why that picture of, like, that person is- Get out of here. Every demon has its punishment. If you don't have a punishment- Let's go back to demons. Jerry, I told you. Not know you now we know what your punishment is? Go, go, door is right there. It also says you need a, you need a punishment on this t-shirt. Are you gonna argue with the shirt? No, I'm not gonna argue with the shirt. The shirt can't speak back, so the shirt wins, okay? I hate that guy. Uh, so, basically, her punishment, she puts you in a school and assigns some ultra hard homework. It's so hard that it messes with your head. And the problems are so impossibly long that you'll never be able to finish it by the next time you have class. But when you do get back to school, the teacher's gonna ask you, did you finish your homework? And you'll unwillingly have to say, no, I didn't. And then the room will start to shift into a terrifying version of itself. Spikes everywhere, flames everywhere, grotesque images in the spikes. Things are going crazy and Stepping on any one of these spikes, it's like they're so spiky and the fire is so hot that it would be easier to be shot with a gun at the place where you stepped on the spike than having to step on the spike. And then she starts to throw a, a fit of rage and throws everything she can at you in the room. Desks, pencils, her desk, everything. And then once she's thrown everything in the room at you, then everything goes back to normal and she assigns you some more homework that is just as impossibly hard and the cycle repeats. If you'd like to experience this punishment, it lasts. Let me look at the punishment pamphlet real quick. Oh yeah, it lasts about uh, an eternity. Yeah, it's located on the fourth circle, which is the circle of greed. How did this devil come to be? Well, when she was alive, she was a perfectionist that perfected everything that life threw her way. She did this all the way through her entire education career, including college. Doing this, she developed a perfectionist complex, and she would always get what she wanted when she wanted because she felt entitled because she perfected literally everything. So, after college, she find a dream husband who was exactly 7 foot 1 and 300 pounds, always wore a hat that was part chewed away. She found this husband and then they spent 10 years of normality together before they, they decided they wanted kids. Five years later, she wanted five children, two boys, three girls, all five foot one and all to be perfectionists throughout throughout their entire education like she got. She eventually got this when they were 10, when they were all 12. One of them got a 99 on the test. This drove her insane. So, as a normal person would do, she grabbed a shovel and slowly beat her whole family, including herself, to a bloody pulp until they all were dead. And the death was so unbelievable in the inferno that she was hired as a torturer. That was that. Can I? Am I finished? Wow, I must be tired. I missed the start record button twice, and this is my third take of recording this. So, anyways, I did all the editing on this. This was a group project, but I acted like it was a solo project. So, I, I do want to give credit to, to my group for encouraging me to make this. I showed Samuel the script, and he 
came up with the idea that the husband died. Just had her husband died as the backstory, but I wasn't content with that. And then I just kept going and going and going with the backstory. I don't know, it, I feel like it turned out weird. Whatever. If you did enjoy this, you want to watch more, posting this on my YouTube channel, That Lion Guy. It's kind of hard to find my channel, so filter search channels, and then you can find me easier. I do have another video on there. What else? Oh yeah. Thank you for watching to the end of this video.